Herd is a program you can download that's going to set up all the components you need to develop and run PHP applications, specifically Laravel-based applications. Previously, Herd was only available for Mac computers, but they have just released a version for Windows, so that's pretty exciting, and I want to talk about it in this video. Just give you a quick tour of what Herd is and uh, what it can offer for you as part of the development process. Now, I've already gone through the process of downloading Herd and running through the installer steps. So I've got it running. You can see the little H icon in my taskbar. This is the Herd interface. You can see what active services I have running. So this is my Nginx web server, and we have PHP running via that. So the first thing to understand when working with Herd is there are going to be folders on your computer that Herd is going to be actively watching and looking for sites. To understand where those folders are, if we go over to the General tab, you can see our Herd paths. And by default in your home directory, it's going to set up a Herd directory for you. So any sites you put in that directory, Herd will automatically configure those sites for you, make them available via your Nginx server, and it'll also create a .test domain for those sites. Now, if you have another directory on your computer where you have some existing sites, you could add that so you can have multiple paths that Herd is watching. For my examples, I'm just going to be using the default Herd directory. All right, so I could create a site by just going in that Herd directory and creating a new folder, or maybe I could take an existing Laravel application and move it into there. Alternatively, if I go over to Sites, I can have it generate a new Laravel application for me. So let's do that. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to go with a bare bones install, so I'm just going to say no starter kit and click next. I'll give this a name. I'll call it demo. I can choose my testing framework, either pest or PHP unit. And then I can see the directory where this is going to be installed. And once again, that's just in my herd directory. So let's click next. And here we can follow the installation process. What is happening behind the scenes is Composer, our dependency management program, is being used to download and set up Laravel. We see that installation has completed and we get the option to immediately open our application in the browser. So let's click that. And excellent, there's our default splash screen we see with new Laravel applications. You can see a local development URL was automatically set up for me following the name of the application with a .test extension. And of course we can start to customize this application. So I'm just gonna go to PowerShell and let's move into the herd directory Within here, we could see our demo directory for the application we just created. I want to open this up in my code editor, VS Code. So I'm going to use the code shortcut followed by the uh, directory name. All right, so here on the left, we can see the contents of our application. And just to edit that splash page we see, let's go into our resources views. And we see this welcome.blade.php view. Here's all that boilerplate content we see on that splash page. I'm just going to delete all of that and throw in a bare bones HTML template and just some content on the page. I'll save those changes and let's go back to the browser and refresh. And perfect, there's our first customization. All right, so as you can see, dead simple to get started with a new Laravel application in Herd. You don't have to go in and configure virtual host for your domain or anything like that. It takes care of it for you. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other things we could do with Laravel Herd. Uh, if you need to work with different versions of PHP, you have all the options to do that. You can install older versions, maybe you have a legacy application. To set which version of PHP you're using for individual sites, go back to the Sites tab and you can see there's a drop down for the PHP version. Right now I just see 8.3 because that's all I've installed, but if I were to go back here and install different options, I would see them uh, for each of the sites. Uh, the other thing we could do while we're looking at the sites option is we could very quickly enable HTTPS. We're just going to click this little lock icon. This is going to ask for permission to make some changes via PowerShell, so I'll click yes. Click yes again. Yes again. And that process is now done, so we see the little lock icon. If we go back and refresh it, we can just confirm that our application is in fact loading via HTTPS. Returning to the Herd interface, let's see what else we can do. Uh, returning to that PHP tab, in addition to managing the versions of PHP you have installed, you can also manage some common PHP configurations, things like your max file upload size and your memory limit. So you don't have to worry about digging through a php.ini file, you could just do that directly from here. Uh, you can also manage which version of Node is installed and running via Laravel Herd. So let me switch over to that tab. It's being a, a little laggy. There we go. Eventually loaded. All right, so you can see I've got 21.7.1 currently installed, but I have some options for some older versions as well. 
Uh, with Expose, you can make it so that your local development sites are available to be accessed online by other people. This would be useful if you wanted to, say, have a colleague or a client be able to preview what you're working on. You could set up Expose with that. Um, you do have to have a uh, account with Expose for this to work, um, but once you do, it's easy to plug those features into Herd. Shortcuts just allow you to customize different keyboard shortcuts you can use with a herd. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then following shortcuts, we see a series of options that are only available in the pro version of herd. Uh, that's going to be the paid for version of herd. I'm currently working in the free version, so I don't have access to this. Uh, but this is going to allow you to manage some of the uh, external things you are going to be using when developing Laravel applications. For example, things like a MySQL database. Um, if you do Laravel development for a living and it's your bread and butter, probably worth the upgrade to Laravel Herd. But if you are working on a budget, it's not required that you manage these things via Laravel Herd. You can actually download and manage these things individually. It does require a little bit more overhead. Um, and I'll actually have a follow-up video to this where I'll show how to uh, download and install MySQL separately and connect a Laravel database in conjunction with Laravel Herd. So if you're working on a budget, that is an option you could check out. Uh, similarly, for mail and dumps, these are only available via Pro. Mail gives you like a development email server. So any outgoing emails from your development application are going to be caught in this nice development inbox. So you can confirm your emails are uh, being produced as expected. Uh, but there's alternatives to this, um, things like MailTrap or MailHog, um, or even just writing your test emails to a log file, something you could do in Laravel. I actually have a video on all of those things as well, which I will also include a link in the description. All right, and then finally, they have a dump feature. So if you're using dump and die dump statements in your Laravel application, rather than just having those statements appear on the page, you could have a separate application to very quickly uh, see that information. All right, so those are some pro features. Might be nice, like I said, if um, you're just looking for extreme convenience, uh, but they're not necessary for working with Herd and building Laravel applications. So that's my quick tour of Laravel Herd on Windows. Hopefully this is helpful if maybe you're just getting started in PHP and Laravel development, or uh, if you've already been using some other server software program, XAMPP, Laragon, some other Windows solutions. I'm curious to hear in the comments, is Laravel Herd something that you think you'll switch over to?